Hmm. So um, we should um, have Joanna soon. Um, we, uh, we'll have John Lunt soon. Let's see, city of Greenfield. Oh, I bet that's John. It would be John because he works for the city, unless it's MJ. And let me unmute everybody. Let's see where unmute is. Can I unmute? Oh, I guess I don't have the power to do that. Uh, yep, no, nope, I do not. Have the power. There we go. All right, so we've. Here we go. There's MJ. Hi, MJ. How are you? I'm good. Good. I thought I'd stick my head in this for a couple minutes. Yeah, excellent. Yeah. Hey, did the meeting minutes get sent out? Yes, they did. Everybody's you have them. Uh, they've been sent out two or three times. They're there. They're in your they're in your world, MJ. Uh, okay. As a matter of fact, they're in the they're uh, twice in the um, the latest uh, thread that um, I just uh, sent out another reminder to. Okay. Yeah. Can the agenda. <clears throat> Hello. How are you? Very well. How are you? How is everyone? I think good. good so far. Good, good, good. So, um, so John Lunt will be with us uh, soon, and um, and Kate is going to be late. I still have not heard anything back from Andrew, uh, and Joanna. I'm sure will be with us. Um, she's very responsible. Right. Is there a way in WebEx to view? everyone at once like in zoom uh, as a matter of fact the layout is in your upper right hand corner next to you do you not have a layout a grid layout there i don't oh Take i can have up there it doesn't show up unless your mouse is up there i have it because hmm. i've got us in grid layout Okay, totally fine. I will play with it. I joined from my browser rather than downloading it. So it might just. Oh, that might be why. Not have all the options. Totally great. Totally why. good. And when we have a couple more people here, I will um, screen share so that we can we can share the activity of looking at the grants together. And also we've got a, um, a spreadsheet. So we can do the addition subtraction of everything and just to clarify about what kind of meeting we're going to have tonight. Tonight will be the decision making meeting, but it will not be the voting for those decisions meeting. The reason for that is the Massachusetts cultural council does not yet have the budget completed. So we do not know exactly the amount of money we're playing with. I know that sounds crazy. Welcome to America. And um, what, but what we've been told sort of over and over from these endless emails that we get from them and it's going to be about the same as last year so there so you know what? why don't i not uh not wait much longer we're already six minutes into the meeting um i'm going to move ahead with um bringing up the screen because we're really just talking about things hannah may i ask you to be a minute taker uh, for things is that okay oh, sure. so yeah. that i so i don't have to do two things at once Absolutely. All right. So, and, and actually, uh, is everybody? I, actually, I meant to do a good check in with everybody first. How's everybody doing? How you doing? <laughs> you okay? Good, Hannah. Yes. Yeah. Good. A little crazy, right. but a little crazy. You no. Know. All right. I'm gonna take that as a pretty darn good from everybody, and here comes screen share. Okay. Now. Do you all see my smart, simple uh, thing that I'm looking at right now or not? John Lund. You do see and it. Join right? a meeting. Great. And so John is with us. That's great. So I think uh, the only person. Hi there. Hey, honey, how are you? I'm good, but I can't get my link to work. The one I keep when I try to join with the WebEx link, it says tracking error. That's weird. Is we it hear working you for everybody that. else? It's working now, sweetie. Yeah. Huh. Okay. 
So I'm doing something wrong. All right. Well, you got me by phone, I think. All right. That's cool. That's cool. We'll just leave it at that. And we know that you are okay. um, that you have m mixed uh, mixed uh, attention tonight. So you're yes, you're, you're off the hook, sweetheart. Yep. Yeah. Thank you for being present tonight. Really appreciate okay. it. You got it. No okay. problem. Thank you. All right. So I think the only other person uh, we're waiting for um, is Joanna. Uh, but I, we can start our discussion now. So um, you all see, do you all see these, uh, this thing that I'm moving in front of your eyes? Yes or no? Yes. 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 Great. Now I'm going to show you another thing that is going to be helpful, which is this object. This object, uh, even with a little bit of a, a glitch to it, there are a few of the um, grants that are a little bit out of order. That's just the way it set itself up. Um, this has uh, the simple way that we can do it and we can do add, we can add things up really quickly um, so we can know. And I think we should shoot for the $11,000. Um, so off we go. I'm going to open up hip hop dance chair exercise for seniors and uh, get everybody's feelings about that one. Okay, here we go. Sorry, I had to uh, do it again. I had left it open for too long. Here we go. Um, it, is it helpful for me to narrate what you're seeing or would you like me to just be quiet and you tell me when to click over to project information? Are we just, we're just sharing thoughts about? It's just thoughts to begin with. Yeah, here, here, I'll, I'll, I'll iterate how um, we've done it in the past, although I will tell you, it doesn't really matter to me how we go about this. But what we've done in the past is gone one by one, uh, each of the, uh, each of the grant proposals that are there in order. And everybody riffs about what they think is good or bad or, or, or beneficial to Greenfield. And then uh, what I would do is in the notes part of this uh, uh, spreadsheet, I would make some notes and um, and you can give a sort of I or nay if you think it's worthy of uh, funding. But I will warn you as having found out in a very unpleasant way that unless there is something that it absolutely does not do in the guidelines, it is worthy of some level of funding and that can be a dollar. But if you don't do that and and they, uh, whoever the <laughs> artist is, decides to fight you on it um, for whatever reason, it can be very unpleasant for the chair of the freaking GLCC <laughs> saying. The, you, you mentioning this reminds me that last year we said we were going to have a conversation <laughs> about this very yes part of the bylaw and we didn't and we can do that i mean there is no uh there is no um there is a lot of work to be done tonight John said. um there is a lot of work to be left done tonight meeting. um that said um i am happy to take the time to have that conversation tonight um i also can tell you that we have a really fast meeting next time around where mm -hmm. all we have required is to vote yes or no to the decisions we will make tonight and we can use the bulk of that meeting i mean that's a 60 second vote because we'll do all the work tonight mm -hmm. i if if uh if it is appealing i will add it to the agenda that we will have that you know real knockdown drag out loving uh connective uh conversation about bylaws and all that how do you feel about that and because I we don't make any changes for these applications anyway right because they have the, the any changes that we make would have to be for the next round anyway. Mm. Because we would not have shared that information with all of these artists. So it's completely uncool, right? Uh, that's a fact, Anna. Yeah. I mean, that's yeah. just a fact. Okay. Yeah. Um, that said, though, we can make all the changes for next time. Um, because we have to be ultra clear with the artists about what our uh, what our rules and regs or you know or what our what our druthers are. Okay. Okay. Then I would I would move that we do talk about that next time, and that we discuss changing. Here, here, here. So the motion has been made by Hannah. Do we have a second? Sure. Okay, great. Andrea has made a second. All in favor? Uh, oh, we have to go around to do these things. Oh, do we have a quorum? 
I think we do actually. I think we're just missing a couple. Oh, here's Joanna. Oh, Joanna has the same problem as um, uh, as John did. So what I did to get around it was I went to WebEx and then on the WebEx site, I put in the meeting ID and the password and then I was able to get in. Okay, great. Let me write that to her right now. John went to WebEx and put in the password and the, uh, uh, what is it, code? Meeting number. Meeting number. Thank you, sweetheart. Meeting number. And he got in that way. Um, and now she has that information. So she'll be with us. Um, okay, so going around the room, could each person verbally say uh, whether they agree to this? I do. Yes. John does. Andrea, do you? Yes, I agree. Okay, great. And Hannah, I'm assuming, do I, we, well, no assumptions can be made. Anna, do you agree to your motion? I do agree with my motion. Okay. All right. So there we go. So that has passed. Um, and can I, before we start, start, can I ask a couple other Indeed. questions yeah. about the discussion overall? And it, it's really about COVID. Um, as I was going through and reading, you know, some um, applications are about in-person things. Some applicants even took the time to note, you know, this is dependent on COVID allowing it and so on. Are we funding things preemptively in the hopes that 2021 improves and in-person productions can happen? Here's an excellent question, and it's been brought up by Andrea as well. So here we go. Let's, uh, let's communicate about that. I have a thought about that. My thought would be, but again, I have no attachment to this thought, but I will share it. My thought is that we can um, make in-person grants, should we choose to uh, fund them, we can make them contingent upon the ability to hold the, the event. Uh, in addition, um, we can think through how we feel about the idea of doing online events. I mean, Andrea, you were the one who brought it up. Um, so that's my thought. Andrea, uh, could we move to you and and, and hear your thoughts and, and what you were reflecting? I was wondering if some of them um, would consider a plan B. Mm -hmm. Yay, Joanna, hi, honey. Oh, technology. Oh, man. <laughs> Do you have a fucking apartment yet? Not yet. Okay, damn. Damn. Actually, can I say this out loud, even though it has nothing to do with city business? Yes. Joanna is looking for uh, an accessible apartment in the city of Greenfield or anywhere else on the planet at this point. And accessible only means on a ground floor and a couple steps are doable. Mm. Six to eight steps, I would have to always dress like Superman. Forget and it. it's it's winter, but I where I live, there's three steps up to a porch, and I can do that no problem. Okay, so it doesn't have to like all your fantasy of like totally wheelchair accessible, perfect. Yeah, we're not we're not delusional. God bless you, honey. God bless you. Well, anyway, we all got the vibes out there, and hoping that we find something for you. So let me let me back up for you, Joanna. Where we are is we are now discussing. Uh, plans for uh, grantees who uh, have offered work to be done in person, and mm -hmm. if, they, if we could add a contingency to their granting. And I've just uh, I handed the floor to Andrea, who has some thoughts about that. So that's what we're talking about. So Andrea, okay, perfect. Yep, yeah, go ahead, Andrea. Because that was the question I had when I was looking at stuff. Sure, of course. Yeah. Well, I, I thought we would have to fold these considerations into our communication with the grantees. Like this one, for example, I like this idea, but it's offered to elders and it sounds like they just have an in-person plan. And if we like it and decide to fund it, we might ask them to submit a plan B for virtual. Excellent. That's easily done. And, and we have done this kind of thing in the past with other organizations. So it's uh, it's actually right in alignment with the, the way we've made decisions and the way we've offered funds in the past. So um, so um, what we can do is um, as we make decisions, we can sort of come up with that sentence. Uh, you know, this, th th this grant is contingent upon the ability to present your work in, uh, in um, real life human form. Uh, and if not, Please give us a, an, an alternative plan, something like that. Yeah, great. Um, 
I don't remember um, with this specific grant, but some of them were happening, you know, imminently, and some were um, planning for the summer. And I think did say something in their, uh, you know, uh, grant application that that was their plan, assuming that, you know, the summer is is a little closer to um, normal, but we don't actually know, that, you know, the rollout of the vaccine is not like getting high awards for yeah, what a great way to do stuff. this. I know. So that I'm wondering for any place, any grant that even if it's something that they're planning so far down the road that they're thinking, sure, we'll be able to do it outside. If it's not, if it's not clearly something that they've said, or we could do it virtual, that we should make that same, you know, that same statement to everybody who hasn't specifically addressed that. I think that's great. And that's super simple, Joanna. The way that could happen is with a single sentence in our, in the acceptance letter that they receive. And um, I'm happy to do that. Uh, I'm happy to add that sentence to our acceptance letter to everybody who's who has is offering an in person uh, thing. As a matter of fact, I could add a uh, I could add a little um, could add a little thing in the notes here. Uh, or, or actually, even in the event date, I'll just use this, uh, this, and I'll put an X in each of the ones that need that sentence, uh, because we don't really need to know the event date just yet. That's more for Robin later on down the line. Um, so that's great. Uh, I think we have agreement on that. I don't think we have to vote on that. It seems just right. Does it feel good to everybody? Uh, can I hear a verbal from everybody? Yes. Great. All right. Good. And any other uh, pre uh, pre uh, uh, examination discussion about sort of general way forward? Uh, just for my own um, uh, edification, if we say that a grant is contingent on COVID, <laughs> go forward, at, at what point do people, well, people get funds after the fact? Right. When do people get funds? Would it be that we give it and then they have to give it back, or would it be that? How does yes. it work? Here's, here's the way it goes. The way it goes is that when they receive their letter, uh, they, they get the funds up front now. Uh, it used to be a couple of years ago that it would be a reimbursement, but uh, a little over a year ago, I guess it was two years ago, we voted that we would go with the new uh, program that MCC rolled out which is that they receive the grant. Now, I will also say that I have been in communication with probably 30 different uh, grantees over the last year, maybe even more. Um, I may have been in touch with almost everybody because of COVID and because everybody had to come up with a new plan. And uh, the MCC is very generous. They want to support the artists. The intention out there is to, you know, just do something that can, uh, can, um, uh, uh, fulfill what you have said you would do. And um, so, so you know, what the answer would be is that I, we would hold off on sending them their checks until we see the contingency plan, which would mean one more communication with the artists or humanists or scientists. Does that answer your question, honey? Have we lost Anna? Yes, there she is. Oh, it does. Okay, great. Great. Any other thoughts to share? Any other concerns? Any other anythings? The other thing that I was wondering about, um, in the past, there have been uh, proposals that we um, sort of called off the top because they were in locations that were just completely not right in Greenfield. And I will tell um, you, that I have, we only have three of them this year that have no venue or are not in, are not in Greenfield. And I've, I've noted them. 
Um, okay. I'll, I'll say them out loud. Oh, and one of them is not even that it's not in Greenfield. One of them is the same guy last year that wants to teach people about law. Uh, uh, he, he applied again, even though I wrote him a lovely long letter explaining the whole story of why his idea was a great idea, but it could not work because it did not fulfill the, the and here he is again, I made him jelly. Okay, so, that, so that, that's this guy, Ken Harris. And we have Ken Longstreet who has not found a venue. Uh, and then we have the Columbia Residency, which is also not in Greenfield. Those are the only three that fall into the category that you're addressing, Joanna. Um, I thought there was um, a music program um, that's normally in some community that this year they're doing online, but normally we have have called them because it's specifically in their their wherever their community is. At some place that begins. Well, we address that when we hit it. What was it? Oh, sorry. Oh, the seven arts guys. I noted that one is not being local. Right. This one. Seven oh arts. yes, not in green. Yeah, you're right. I said it and I didn't make it red. But um, I think I didn't do that because I think they said they were doing it online. Right. So so okay. one of one of the things that I was just not clear about is um having having places that normally we would send a letter of, you know, sorry, um, because it's completely not in Greenfield, because they're doing online events, it opens up. But um, my concern was that, that uh, a lot of those places were asking, for, I mean, a lot, there were a few, a couple, uh, we're asking for large enough money that it not swamp people who are actually local artists who are scrambling and maybe not quite as having quite as many resources to put together quite as polished a thing. Yes. But are trying to figure out how to get through COVID without. The one that I would bring up in that regard is, um, is Sarah Marcus. Uh, she is, it's a Northampton program. North mm -hmm. and it's also at the Holly Street, uh, and then they're putting it online. This is a perfect example of what you're talking about, Joanna. This is a, a much more uh, funded community. Uh, the focus is certainly going to be uh, Northampton fa families. Uh, mm -hmm. In point of fact, it is available to Greenfield families, but it falls exactly into that category of where do we place those or those humans and organizations that really are greenfield focused in covid that this is this is this is dicey this is dicey um to be honest what i would kind of do is throw a hundred bucks at those folks and wish them well and then but not really you know put any or even 25 dollars. i mean just something to because they because they are doing something that's online and available and they're coming from Northampton. Northampton has so many more resources than Greenfield does. It's just crazy. Yeah. So we could do a variation on what we've said in the past is really emphasizing that it needs to happen in Greenfield, that we can say that our priority is people who are actually in our, our community. Yes, but I will I will remind you having you know had, had a mouthful of shrapnel is that um, we do not want to say we're not giving you anything because right. they could fight us to the death and right. uh, you know and it's a very unpleasant um, a very unpleasant uh, set of circumstances. <laughs> I noticed that's why we you. pay you the big bucks, Linda. <laughs> <laughs> right. Go ahead, Andrew. I see your hand here. I can mention it when we get there, but nine and thirteen are re repeat of each other. John Root is in there twice. Yeah, I yeah. saw that too. Yeah. Um, great. Other other concerns. It sounds like we're kind of getting into the work uh, with these great questions already. Anything else, uh, sort of on the edges that we want to touch base on? I have, I have one more question. When we um, send letters approving the grant, are we allowed to place any kind of restriction on it? For instance, to your point that you know it really has to happen in Greenfield, 
Um, the one um, 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 that was about, shoot, I'm not going to find it, but there was one that was about like, quilting, and she said the first 20 people that signed up, she's going to give a kit to. Are we allowed to say something like, we are willing to fund anyone from Greenfield that signs up that you give a kit to, or do we have to oh. do it? Do we have to just let it, let it be? Is I, that getting? I don't know. I think we could do that. I mean, because we are very clear on saying, you know, priority is, you know, it must take place in Greenfield, but now we're in COVID and like it's crazy. I think we could put a letter uh, in our letter, say, um, I, I mean, I think we could ask for it, say, um, if we request that priority for kits given to Greenfield residents. Or that a certain percentage or something like that so that they're not. Yeah, I, I don't see anything wrong with that because that is in alignment, as I understand it, with our, uh, our, our, our rules. Yeah, good question. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah. Good for Just you for figuring it out. Online. Yeah, good for you. People are right. Anyone can attend an online thing, but like to the point of um you know the music festival that's in its 53rd year great that it's online but if it hasn't been in the greenfield community before that's right. a big question to get an audience from here so right i don't know that that's the same to me right. you're absolutely right yeah the, and i think those are very clearly folks that we awarded you know dollar and a kind of thing yeah okay. great other other uh other thoughts concerns ideas I guess just um, are we doing the same process as we did last year where we evaluate the projects first and then afterwards do the the financials of. Well, you know, the way we could do it, because I have these so right next to each other, we could do a rough out of what you think might uh, you might want to fund. Uh, so we could kind of hit two birds with one stone and then really refine that uh, as a, af after we go through everything. Okay. What would you like? You know, it honestly doesn't matter to me. It might be a bit more efficient if we sort of throw a, a, a possible number. I mean, I've done that a little bit. I, I have a, a, a column called possible grant where I was just playing. I think that makes sense. About money and like how much we would have. So again, I am not wedded to any of this. I was just playing to see how hard it would be to come up with $11,000. Um, just generally. So if you want to, uh, as we go to each one, Joanna, we could, you know, so do this one and then over here and say, well, maybe something like a couple hundred bucks or 300 bucks. And then we do that all the way through and then we look again. Mm -hmm. What does that feel like? That seems fine. Okay. How many people feel like that's a good way to proceed? Give us a thumb. Thumb. Any thumbs down? I don't see a thumb down. All right, I uh, can do that. Then. I have one last question. Mm -hmm. um, and I know this is the case for, you know, most of us. There's people on the list that we know. Of course. Is there any kind of conflict of interest issue that yes, we need to? There is, there is. And, and this will come about when we vote. Um, when we vote on everybody, um, uh, if you have a close relationship with someone, you should recuse yourself from voting. If I have, so like if they're my friend, but not like there's somebody on the list who used to come to my writing workshop, mm -hmm. but hasn't in a very long time. Mm -hmm. uh, why don't you just announce that as we okay. enter into the discussion and recuse okay. yourself when we come to the vote. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Is that clear for everybody? Yep. Great. All right. I think and I think we're beginning. All right. So here we are at Hip Hop Dance Chair Exercise for Seniors. And um, All right. I had to take a hand. Can sorry. I ask you a really quick question? Of course. Uh, yeah. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, thought I beg your pardon. No, no. I it was. I was. It was my fault. Um, I don't want to get caught up on the giving every single person money because I know we can't change that. But if we're giving every single person money, is it really necessary to go through each? What are we going through each one with a lens of? Okay. Do okay. Here we go. 
What we are going through each of these with the lens of is number one, do they meet our requirements? Is it in group? Number two, what is the benefit to Greenfield in, in the in the piece? And how much should we give them? So for instance, we need to talk about each one because are we going to give them one dollar? They actually fall within our rules. Um, but they're not for Greenfield. They don't do anything for Greenfield. And then so so it's more about um, knocking off the ones that have no 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 viability and then going through the ones that do, which is almost all of them, by the way, almost all of them are viable this time. And then deciding what would be an appropriate uh, um, number, what would be an appropriate amount of money to allocate to these to these folks. Got it. Is that, yeah. Yeah? Is that good? Yes, that's very helpful. Okay, great. All right, so Luke, we're hippity hoppity dancing upon the chair for seniors. And that's the project aim. Um, now here they have a venue right here. Um, GVNA Adult Health a health, uh, a health Services. So that's a good thing. And now here's the overview and I'll just put it up and you guys uh, chat about it as you will. So, so one of the things that I think is important about this one, it, uh, a little bit, uh, you scrolled past it, but there's a point when it's, it's tied with um, Black History Month. Okay. So that means it's still going to be in the winter. And so COVID is going to be a thing. Mm -hmm. um, it's, it's not clear to me what her plan, what her COVID plan is. Okay. So this is a contingency one. Okay. Very good. What other thoughts? Uh, I think it's fine. I don't, it, I don't know if there really is a contingency. I don't really see how this can be. It's not going to be like the mirror where you go and exercise over internet. I think it either happens or it doesn't. I, I, I think you're absolutely right, John. So um, in which case, you know, I can say is there a contingency? I mean, I, I will say I've been in the situation where I couldn't imagine for the life of me how somebody was going to pull something off and came up with a solution. So my suggestion would be sure. we will fund you if you can find a way to do it COVID safely. What is that way? And then it's up to them to come up with that answer. Does that feel acceptable? Yep. Okay. Maybe say specifically because this is going to be uh, in February with seniors. Exactly. We want to be. Um, we want to be clear that, you know, I mean, and I'm sure this person wants to be everybody wants the seniors to stay safe. Of course. Well, and I think you can base it on, you know, requirement. State and Department of Health. So, yeah, you, know, right. you have an easy way. If somebody's just trying to get it done, that doesn't mean they know all the things they need to do to keep people right. safe. Oh, true. Very true. Yeah, they will have to get back to us with proof that they have a way to right. do it safely, and then we can have the discernment to, um, if if they are not sophisticated enough to have read what they need to read, we can be right. we can be clear. And anyway, there's no way uh, CVNA is going to let it happen anyway. Right? If it right. Doesn't happen. All right. So understood. I think we're there. What would you think might be a possible grant for that? Um. Uh, just to start, I think 100, 150, something. Okay, great. Got it. Sounds good to me. Great. And we'll just leave that. Now, this is no, nowhere near in stone, just to be super clear with everybody. This is just a thought, right? This is just a thought. Let's see how it goes. All right. Shall we move on to authors and artists? Now, Lisa is someone I'm going to recuse myself. Very good. Oops. Why did it do that? Don't do that. 
Okay, authors and artists. And thank you um, for the note that you will be recusing yourself. And um, this is an online project already. It's applying for online. And here is the overview. I thought, I thought this was great. And because it's already online, they have a proven record. And I was surprised to see they were only asking for 200. So I felt like that was very reasonable. Good. Good. Um, so would you like to stick with 200, y'all? Yeah, I think so. Good. That's At least good. for me. That's great. All right. Now, here comes the next one. Let me move you guys here. Um, there we go. Why does it keep doing that? You're a butthead. Ugh. All right. Farm. Now, this is one that I have to refuse from because I am very close with Sam Wood. And I also have more information for you about this to share should you want. Um, I, I kind of feel like I should recuse myself too. Okay. Because I know her too. Okay. So then we'll leave. Well, oh, yeah. Go ahead. No, I know her, but I, I don't think I know her well enough. Yeah, yeah, understood. So yeah. let's share with y'all the information that I found because uh, she checked in with me after, uh, sadly, after she had applied. And I said, what the hell, Sam? You do not have a specific, I mean, I know you say that it's online, but like, how are you going to do it online? We need to have more information. Who would you be working through? She said, oh, I would be working through uh, GCTV and I would be working through Looky Here. So we could say that in the application. She said, oh, I didn't know I should. So, and she also asked if I would uh, put the word out there. So again, I need to recuse and I will not share an opinion about this, but I, um, I have offered Egg Tube Productions as a vehicle to share the online information. Okay. Here's my, here's my comment about this one. I don't understand what she's planning to do. Yeah, it's it, she has written about this in a very, um, sort of convoluted way um, and what but I can share with you about what it is she's writing poetry she's making a movie and uh, and she's uh, doing a, some kind of physical performance art that will be videotaped and then shared online does she have a history with um, grants and Follow through completion. I don't think she's. Um, I tell. I can tell you that she has written two grants for Art Space, uh, and we funded them both last year. Um, uh, and she has received funding through her group that is called Exploded View. Uh, and this is her first solo application to the Mass Cultural Council. Hmm. So this isn't intended to be interactive. It's a, a video piece that she will be putting together. Correct. It is not interactive. It will be pre-recorded and shared and shared. I've forgotten what she's asking for. I think she's asking for a grand. Too much. She, yeah. I mean, sorry. And just to note that she is also applying under Exploded View. Correct. On for another project. Okay, thank you. I think she's part of the third one as well. Uh, I think only two. Is it the two? Okay, we'll see when they come up. Okay. So yeah, so go ahead and read and reflect and then we'll go back to the spreadsheet whenever you're ready, y'all. Well, I like her. I like the topic, but it's it's you know as it's written, it's it's a weak application. Indeed, it is. Um, but it, it sounds like she has some allies and a more solid idea than what she expressed here. Mm -hmm. Other thoughts? Just to add to to what Andrea just said, um, this is a huge topic, and when I think about a documentary film piece. I don't know if she has experience with documentary filmmaking, but just judging from the topic 
judging from the amount that he asked for, it just feels like a huge piece. And I, I just wonder if you give her, you know, two hundred dollars. Like, is that really even going to be doable, or is it going to like, what does it really take to make a piece like this come to fruition? Well, and I will tell you, um, you know, without uh, as information not to sway the vote in any way, I know that she's going to do this anyway. She's really devoted to this project and is changing her life to do so. She's actually looking into uh, finding a farm and living on a farm. She's volunteering on a sheep farm right now up in Northfield. Um, so it'll happen. Even if you throw a couple hundred bucks at her, okay. it will happen. Great to know. Okay. Any other thoughts? I, I'm not sure that I would support $400, but Good. You know, 200 250 something like that. It was well, let's maybe go to 200 to start with. Good. Let's go with 200 to start with. Does that sound good? To, uh, does everybody agree with that? I can live with that. Yeah. Okay. Great. And by the way, this is the this is the really loosey goosey uh, line, mm -hmm. so it can, we can change it as much as we want. Okay. Great. Now, I'm going to see if I can get to number four. It did let me do number four this time. All right. This one. What is this called? That's the one we're not going to fund, right? Oh, it's that guy. Oh, yeah, it's that guy. Okay, so we don't have to think about him because he is not around. Right. He is, and he, he's uh, and he's becoming a pain in my butt because I told him to apply and he did it again. Okay, here we are. With, here's one of John's. Uh, John, the, the adorable John. Here we go. This one is called uh, Crop Circles. Here we go with Crop Circles. There we go. And John is asking for, um, oh, shoot, this is, yeah, John is asking for $400. So there you go. That again, and see what you think. Um, I had a question as I was sort of skimming through, I didn't go back to check, but did he have this twice? Yeah. yeah let's see, he's got, he's got two things here. There's the, John. The, amount that he's asking for and the number of people that he says it serves change, but everything else is the same. So I think maybe he just accidentally submitted twice, but clearly. So. And he's only in a spreadsheet once. So, um, so okay. let's assume that this is just the, just one and he just hit go twice. Oh, okay. There you go. He also says he's going to do it anyways. Yes. Uh, I don't know anything about the topic. Um, I know a little bit about it. Um, I know it's controversial. You know, it's one of those things that people um, are willing to consider it or think it's kind of a, a quacky thing, <laughs> depending on who you are and the frame that you bring to to the um it's not clear to, uh, you know i i'm not saying what my opinion is <laughs> i'm just saying i know that's sort of the the scope of some people are are open to the idea and other people think it's kind of uh new age uh, a bit a bit new agey maybe a bit of a scam you know that kind of suspect but that doesn't mean in in the context of uh, cultural council's work that it, there's nothing in in what he proposed that to me sounded like oh this is not really you know yeah yeah, it's got a little magical quality to it, and who knows if it's real. And um, knowing John, I bet he digs into that quite a lot, Joanna, just to let you know. He's a very um, rationally kind of a guy. Mm -hmm. it, does he have a location? Does he have a location? It's online. It's going to be online. Okay, so it's an It'll online a virtual Zoom presentation. And he's going to do it anyways. Mm-hmm. And how much is he asking for? 
I forget. It is 400. Uh, 450. Yep. And it's all, you know, it's all for him. So. <laughs> I. Hmm. I, I feel a little funny that it's like just a PowerPoint presentation. Like if it was a, I don't know, I guess something about it doesn't feel very arts and culture. Good for you. I mean, that, that is a, that's a real thing. I um, think it's interesting <laughs> personally, mm -hmm. but. Um, well, I mean, we could bring it down, you know, and get down to, you know, just a hundred bucks or something. That's what I was thinking. Is I was it? thinking a hundred. Okay, let's do that. That's a perfectly um, logical thing to do. All right, here we are. What's next? Uh, native plants. Oh, yeah, yeah. James. And this is called Plant Communities, and he's saying it's at the library. So this will be a contingency, I think. Mm -hmm. I don't think he says anything about doing it online. Yeah, oh, oh wait, what did he say? Yeah, no, he hasn't. Um, he hasn't come up with a plan. So if you choose to move far ahead with him, we definitely does he have a does he have a a, a date that he says when he's going to do it? Uh, let's see. I don't think so. Nope, just twenty twenty one, right here. So yeah, depending on you know, like if we all suddenly are awash in vaccines and good to go in you know June. Uh, the library might be open and people might be desperate to get out and do stuff. Right. Um, if the library is still closed, cause we're all like not allowed to be in the same place as each other, mm -hmm. then the library is not going to say, but except for the plant thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Um, yeah. So other, uh, well, sorry, let me get back to the overview. So that'll me. be a contingent thing. Yeah, I've written contingency in the, it, right here, it's contingency is in the letter. And how much is he asking for? He is asking for $700. It's not that unique to Greenfield, and we do have sources of similar expertise in Greenfield. And I will tell you, he's kind of a regular James is a regular. He's had, I don't think last year, but in, he's had, he's done other grants with MCC along these lines. Mm -hmm. um, so part of the, part of the plant community himself, right? Given that it's a PowerPoint, so it's not like he's coming up with something unique to Greenfield where he's having to justify extra, um, it, this is something that to me seems like, you know, maybe a hundred bucks because okay. he's probably taking it around to other libraries too. Yes, I'm sure that's true. I have not seen, oh, as a matter of fact, we can see that project information, other, where other overview. There's a place where are you, are you doing other, um, oh, I guess that's not this. Okay. I thought that you had to say, if you were doing, um, have you applied to other local councils? And he's got a list of about fifteen. Where did where where are you seeing that, Andrew? I'm so sorry. I'm in his grant. I'm I'm in, uh, under. Um, What's it under, honey? It's under the other income. There's a few more questions, and it's above supplementary materials. I oh, can supplementary stop materials. It if there's. Um, so, huh, so, so, yeah, so, so then it's correct. He's applying to other, um, other, uh, cultural. Is there a way to, uh, like a chat function? Is there a way to? to is there a chat function in WebEx? Oh, let me see. It looks like I see a chat thing down on the, the lower right corner of my screen. Uh -huh. yeah. I, you know, what's funny as a sharer. Oh, here's chat. Oh, here's chat. Okay. Oh, that was MJ. Okay. And yeah, so here we've got everyone. Yeah, go ahead. We can talk as much as you want. Oh, I was just going to, oh, here it is. I have to enter it here. No, I'm just going to show you where else he, um, the other places. Yeah, it, it doesn't matter. It's lots of places. Okay. Here's and 
taught in Westport, all over the state, Pittsfield, everywhere, Springfield, Falmouth. Yeah. So a hundred bucks. Does everybody agree with that? A hundred bucks. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Great. And here's the quilts. Happy place. And in February through March, virtual platform. Yeah, so let me, or I'll give this to you to read. And oh, you can't do it while I do it. But um, so the note oh, is. The kids. Did you miss one? No. The fairground, the, the, on the screen, it says plant communities and then the fairground art totem. Right. And this then, is the problem with the uh, with the with the the spreadsheet. It's a little oh. bit out of order, so I'm afraid okay. I've gone I've gone from the smart simple uh, to the spreadsheet. Um, okay. okay. So let's prioritize uh, packets of materials going to Greenfield residents. Oh, that's not capitalized. Residents. Good. Okay, and what are your thoughts about this one, y'all? Well, she has a space rental in there, which is going to present a question. It's it's not to make quilts; it's to make a collage. Thank you. Playful fabric or paper collage? Yep. Okay. Okay. Now, am I right that this is one of the projects where she, in particular, is talking about it as having a benefit? in the context of COVID? Is this one of the ones that... Mm, I'm not seeing... Okay, I mean, it's maybe it was an online thing, but I'm not seeing any... Uh... A virtual platform self-paced workshop that combines simple neurobiology and art. I mean, yeah, no. So she's just she's just talking about it in kind of a general way. She's not talking about it as a way to help people dealing no. with with the stress it of our. Doesn't seem like it is uh, directed specifically at the stress created by COVID. That mm -hmm. said, though, it seems pretty clear that it would be of service to folks right. uh, in that way, but she has not named it as such, Joanna. I don't remember how she said she's gonna do outreach and promotion for it and- yep, Here we go. Um, Promoted on multiple platforms, press releases, listings, virtual flyers for each supportive arts council to share, social media posts on Insta and Facebook with paid advertising on each. On each. So she's uh, actually doing online paid advertising um, for two weeks preceding the workshops, continue, blah, blah, blah. So there so, it is. So the way this works, if I'm understanding it correctly, big question, is um she gets however many number of people the first whatever percent get kits the others probably get some sort of materials list or something that seems very clear to me yeah and and that it will that so so the experience is this will be happening online you will be in your own space doing whatever your thing is and she will be doing whatever her leading the the experience. Correct. As I understand it, that is correct. Okay. I mean, we've done I've done stuff like this through our Hebrew school at the temple, and uh, also for adult ed. It's a nice format. It can work. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I don't know how networked she is. Does anyone have a sense of that? Um, I have a sense of that, but she's written a very good um, application in terms of state right things, but true. Uh, not somebody I know. Um, but you know, she, she really said all the right things. I agree. I, she's asking us for a small amount relative to the project. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Maybe in our letter um, offering her a grant, we could give her some specific social media platforms to be in touch with to say, you know, please post this on Positively Greenfield or something like that, just in case she's not very familiar with Greenfield. That's good, because she is, she's from East Hampton. Yeah, well, to, to end this point about her being networked here, online is great, but if you're going to put all of your advertising on, you know, Facebook groups that are frequented by East Hamptonites and The Advocate, you miss all the platforms in Greenfield that are specific to Greenfield, but if we suggest them, maybe she would mm -hmm. be happy to post it there. I can do that, and I'll also give her all the links to all of the all the things to Positively Greenfield and to, you know, the yeah. and uh, Yeah, I'll, I'll do that, yeah. That would be awesome because it sounds like a cool, fun. It's a very cool thing. Yeah, I like the idea of it. Okay. All right. So then, so I got that. So she's going to have a very specific letter from me, uh, from us, rather. Sorry. And um, so, what do you want to throw at it, y'all? Um, how much is she asking for? Two fifty. Two hundred. Does that seem good, Bill? I would say 200 as long as, as there's some guarantee that people in Greenfield actually have a shot. Right. At, I yeah. could say that it's required that she, you know, does Facebook outreach. to. We don't have as good a presence on Instagram, but we have a really strong presence on uh, Facebook for some reason in right. Greenfield. So, yeah, I'll make that specific and I'll say you need to, you know, share it in these places. That's easy enough. Okay, dundy dundy done on that guy. Oh yes, I am hearing an echo, um, Andrea. I don't know where it's coming from. All right, and oh, Rachel, just surprising. These are our peeps right here. I love them. They're the best in the whole world. And a year, you know, like if there were ever a year when we really need them to be doing their thing. No question. I'm completely. If they came, up, and they always ask for such a small amount. I, know. I think it's really tragic. We can't say the only problem we had was with the amount that you asked for. And so we're giving you twice as much this year. <laughs> <laughs> Let me just see if I can find them on here because I know they were out of order. Is this it? No, that's, uh, that's not racial justice. Wait, where's Ruth? Ruth, I know you're here. Sorry, y'all. Here it is. Oh, no, that's another Ruth. Here it is. Here it is. Got it. Yeah. Right. I, did, I, I, I mean, in my imagination, I thought we should give them exactly what they want. And I just said, oh, yeah. So, important. so, all right. We don't even I have think, to talk about I that. I think what they do is important every year, but this year, like, absolutely crucial. <laughs> well, I mean, it's, I, I, we haven't had this happen before, but we wanted to symbolically say you know we're actually giving you five hundred dollars because we love you so much i don't see anything wrong with that if everybody wants to do that uh, not just because we love them so much but no, because, because this is such an urgent it's an important such thing. an urgent topic yeah absolutely have we done that in the past no it's never happened and, and i i was on the deerfield one of these things for like a million years nobody's ever said those words i think it's kind of wonderful Maybe we should see how far we get with the funds. Okay. If we do it for them, we should do it for every application that is in Spain, which I'm for. But well, every, every application is go through this, and we're going to run out of money. So why don't we? Why yeah. don't we leave it at four hundred and know that they're very important? How's that? Right. Okay. All righty, and boom, number nine. What are you, Jessica Pollock? Oh, visiting offers in the high school. Oh, that's the that one. Yes. Thank you for reminding me. The, this is, they asked for a lot of money, this one, um, but it's very cool. We should uh, take a peek at it. Here you go. Yeah, just to, let me throw it at you. Uh, they asked for 5,000. Yeah, they're 5,000. Where are you? Yeah, anyway, they asked for a lot of money. This is also an in person. And the topic is race. Mm -hmm. 
do we ever take into account that you know there are there's funding venues available through schools that aren't available to other people i don't know if we ever or should take that into account i, I always feel like i look at these and some people have a specific thing they want to do and and some people are just casting a, a wide net and th that's not bad I, i'm not trying to be dismissive or or but i just feel like i sometimes look at this and i do think we're likely to run out of money because every time i've done this we have yeah we always um, have. <laughs> so it seems likely and, it, and i always think in the back of my mind are these people who have better access to other forms of funding than some of the other people do and should we be factoring that into our decision i'm not sure that we should but it is something that always sort of pops into my head when i look at yeah this. and you know john the way i was raised in this uh, world of when when whenever the high school or any of the schools or any of the libraries or any of the senior centers ask for money it's because they need it and so we hmm. always threw them at the top of the priority list but i don't have enough awareness of um what the public schools are able to rouse uh, up in terms of funds wow. i don't know a lot. Um, there are a lot of education specific ones that would and you know again i i don't pretend to know if they've gone that route or not but asking for five thousand dollars is a lot of money it's a lot for. of money it's a lot and of it, money and i look at that and think boy you know it's our budget it's it's right our budget. underneath they have maybe some other places they can go but it just seems <laughs> like the high school and through Greenfield Public Schools has Can a lot. Can we identify of other sources, other uh, places they're question. asking? We would ask the Greenfield Education Foundation, partner organizations, and local businesses if they would so, do that. That's their plan. Okay. This might be something to come back to after we've gone through everything else. Okay. And say, at the end, uh, maybe there, maybe we've spent all our other money on projects that really can't get much funding from anything else, mm -hmm. or maybe we can kick in a small amount so that they can say we got some funding from the local cultural council, which sometimes helps mm -hmm. them get some money from other places. People. Yeah. That's a great point. Okay, so even though we might only kick in a small amount, being able to kick in that small amount, they can leverage. Okay, but let's let's see. So we'll hold. Very good. All right, so we'll hold off on this one. We'll just move forward and we'll come back to it. This one is. I forget this one. Oh yes. This is the one that is, um, this is about, uh, do you guys know Scout Cuomo, who just uh, bought a building and has just opened a, uh, a brand new studio on Hope Street? And, uh, oh, and right. yeah, this is she. And it's I know nice. her a tiny bit, not really, but I've looked at her work and been very intrigued by her. Um, so then, anyway, this is her new You and Me gallery, and she's bringing in people from away. She's bringing in people, what was it, from Belarus? Hold on a second. Right. Yeah, yeah. she's bringing in people from Belarus to wacky little Greenfield. It's kind of cool. I think she's bringing in two films. <clears throat> Are you so sure she's bringing the artists? I thought oh, it was yeah, films. Right. They're films. Da, 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 da. Right. Yeah. Right. Um, when is she planning to do this? It is um, summer, this coming summer. summer. Maybe like yes and contingency. Okay. Yeah. And how, uh, well, since this is online, what would be your contingency, Andrea? Oh, oh, well, I guess they could broadcast it on Zoom, right? Yeah. Yeah. I kind of like the idea. I know. I think it's funky. And also, and they have dance. some interesting oh political crossover, too. We, we mm -hmm. hardly ever get any dance. And I feel like there's a, 
sort of a black hole of dance stuff right. uh, in the area too. And I don't know about sort of the different immigrant populations in our general area, how, um, how much uh, a company coming from Belarus might be like, oh, cool, this kind of speaks to my heritage that I, I never I see. I don't answer to that. I could ask that in the letter, though. Wait, let me just find her. I think this is in person. I don't think this is an no, a virtual. Said films. They're films, but it's uh, an evening of multi multicultural professional dance in a rural yet accessible space. Right. So I think live, live dance and dance films at the You and Me Gallery. Yeah. I don't think it's so, online. Okay. So, so, for so then, then we would need to have a letter about saying something about a contingency plan in case COVID is still got us all like. Yeah. Doing this. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So. Contingency. Let me just do this. Um, yeah. Okay. Okay. What else? What else do you want to say here? So I'll put in a contingency letter. Maybe 200. Okie doke. Got it. Just uh, yep. to. Great. Does that sound good to everybody? Yep. Okay. Mm -hmm. Good deal. <clears throat> and next one is, oh, the fairgrounds. God love them. They have just been through the wars. Yeah. yeah. Oh, shit. These yeah, poor people. Um, this is so, a really cool idea. It's a really cool idea, and it, it, I think it's wonderful. Yeah, all right, so everybody loves it. Let's just go how, right to how it. How much is he asking for? Um, let me just find it. A thousand. It. A thousand, yeah. Here it is. Um, yeah. Maybe this is one we even want to fund in full and just see at the end. I, I think that, yeah, Do I mean, I think this is, I, personally, I don't speak for everybody else, but it's a, well, I mean, it's pretty iconic in the town, and to be able to do this and help out in a location. Um, my, my sense is, um, not only for those reasons, but I can imagine that the folks involved with the fair are going to really have a hard time going into their next, what would normally be the right. fair. Yep. And so things that can be done to kind of help uh, keep them as an interesting, viable, uh, but also something that then, you know, in the future, people can look back and say, that was a tough time, but and look what they did. that toughness, yeah. look what they did. Mm. I love and it. Just to, just to add, I know we're all agreeing here <laughs> anyway, but um, just to add, I, I always think it's really great when art pops up in a place where it might not otherwise. I mean, they could have just cut this tree down and called it a day, and instead they're, like, looking to hire someone from Apple, someone who's in sort of a fringe of artistry yeah. in, in chainsaw yeah. wood carving. I don't know. I just like it it's touches awesome. people who some who are like and a lot of people, people will see it going into the future. A lot of people. And yeah. the other thing that I love about it is that this is a crossover project. This is yeah. not going to be just my wonderful funky 28 year old friends yeah. going like yay here's a weird thing like always yay. This is going to get like Polish <laughs> farmers who are in their 80s. Yeah. You know what I mean? Who would never yeah. go to a sculpture garden or whatever. And yeah. they're going to be like, yeah, this is my fairground. And toddlers my and like the whole shebang. Yep. The whole shebang. Yeah. The whole shebang. It's so cool. I really like oh. this one. It's very cool. All yeah. right, good. Done. They're getting a grand, you guys. Come on. 
Nice. So long. All right, Kenneth Longstreet. Oh, I think this one is a uh, no go. This is yeah. the jazz. These are the jazz guys. Wherever yeah. they are. Yeah. Okay. Good. We can move past that. They had no venue. No venue. Yeah. Like we make music. This is Valley <laughs> Jazz Voices, and. Live and pre recorded. Now, oh, here's one that this is so clearly a Northampton driven, uh, benefiting search. That, ah, you know, this, this, these are not our people, right? That they will let us give them some money and, and we can sit in the back row and watch. Right. It's, it's yeah. Not people. So, I mean, sorry to be a bitch, but I mean, I really feel like giving them, you know, just a hundred bucks. I think that's plenty. All right. Yeah. Off we go. Bye bye. Sorry, I'm getting a little punchy and I haven't even had a tip yet. Um, okay. Oh, Congo, Congo, Congo. Uh, Here we go. This is us. Finally. Yay. Okay, do you need to know uh, more about it? Uh, the only thing I don't remember is how much they're asking for this year. It's not very much. It, uh, you know, God bless them. I think it's like 500? 400 bucks or 500 bucks. 500. Thank you. Here it is. Out of 33. 500, yeah. Yeah. You know, I'd give it to them, but that's right. just... Well, let's try. Angry. Let's try. Um, when, when is the... The Bee Fest is in the summer. Right, yeah, it's May twenty first. So, but, you know, nobody knows the future. But it will be the start of when the weather is nice enough that people can be outside yes. and um, to have something that would actually be fun mm -hmm. to go outside and be also something like, oh, we're starting to get back to stuff that we used to do. Yep. And I can give you some more information. Um, I'm working with, oh, I guess I should recuse myself. All right, I'm just giving you information and you do whatever you want to do. Um, I'm recusing myself and I'm talking. So um, so Eggtooth and I are um, gonna help with, if, it, if they need to have COVID uh, awareness, um, we are, and we're doing this no matter what, whether it's COVID or not COVID, we're creating one of our promenades. Uh, about bee fest in downtown Greenfield, and we're going to describe each of the bees, and the artists are going to give a little, uh, you know, a little uh, story of their bee. Uh, and it's all I don't know if you guys know about the promenades, but they're GPS triggered, so that when you walk up to a bee, you're looking at it, you get a new piece of audio material. Cool. And we're going to do a whole cool. thing about Langstroth. We're going to do a whole thing about um, what's his other guy that that was his. Uh, a uh, carpenter friend who I hope they were lovers. I can't remember what his name Marsh. <laughs> Master Marsh. Um, you know, all of that. We're going to do a whole thing about that. Um, so it's going to be really cool, even if you have to just go with your husband or your child and wear a mask and, you know, not gather. Um, well, I think the Langstroth connection is really important too. It just, I, I feel like, you know, it ties into the history of the town. I also yeah. feel like it's something to do in downtown Greenfield. And downtown Greenfield really needs to reinvent itself. Oh, to be a place to go see this kind of stuff. I, I just think it ticks a whole lot of really good check. -ups. I think it, it doesn't just speak to the history of the town. Like, this is part of our past. But given Greenfield's place in terms of supporting local agriculture now, yep. Yep. it's Absolutely. a really important connector that, yeah. that Greenfield has always been that place and we still are. Great. All right. It's really part of our brand as much yeah. as you yeah. might not like that uh, word. I'm a fan of our word. Well, Absolutely. I think you're right. I, I was thinking that too. I think that's right. Mm -hmm. that's great. All right, cool. We love the Bee Fest. Yes, we do. We love the Bee Fest. Hilltown Fam. Oh, uh, I need to give you guys a reminder about Hilltown Families. We um, didn't fund them last year, but um, we, 
because they were online, but what's hilarious now, and but we, but we honored that they do a lot for Greenfield with their online thing. So now hilariously, their online thing that they've been so good at for so many years is now sort of, you know, uh, makes them they're, they're they're on trend they're on trend oh my god so um and this is you know about them right here i'll give you the thing yeah they, they do a bunch of stuff and they're really wonderful they really really are it's I'll an online you. community essentially that a lot of people from greenfield are part of how, how much are they asking you? for um i can't remember one second 300 300 uh, yeah. The same thing I said last year, which is that this kind of thing is crucial to people coming to the things that we are funding. No and so it feels absolutely necessary yeah. to be part of that to me. It, yeah, I agree. It feels like a, an investment that leverages. Yeah, yeah. I see. It's really good. I agree. Because it's an advertising yeah. format, right? Say it again. Because it's an advertising format. Yes, it is. Okay. So do you want to give them their full three kids? Would that be good? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Boom, boom. Excellent. Make progress. We are uh, 15 out of 41. All right, next one. Oh, Greenfield Military Band. Oh, my God. We gave them almost nothing once, and I got my face ripped off from these people. They, <laughs> they depend heavily upon which is problematic because, you know, we're told that we're not supposed to give over and over and over again to the same people. And they have said really clearly that they are Greenfield and they have to have um, funding from us and da, 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 da. Anyway, I went through a very unpleasant little thing with them. How much are they asking for? Let me just find them here. You know what, I thought their application was hard to read. I know. They came out with a really narrow form for me. And I will yeah. tell you too that it's a it's a really lovely bunch of older folks. Why can't I find it? Seven fifty is the ask. Seven fifty. Oh, here they're all the way up here. Okay. Um. So I don't know. What do you want to do, kids? We can't um, give them a token, or they're they're just worried they're going to die. Um. I have thought four hundred, but I, I defer to you completely, y'all. Do we know what we gave them last year? It would take me a while to find it um, but because I need to get out of everything that I'm doing here. But I think no we gave them like so, or something. So who is their audience really? It like who is, are the people? Yeah, I, I do know this because I've done a few times. And John, John, you're going to probably be able to speak to this very well because this is like the classic old school greenfield family yes. outing where the grandparents take the grandkids and they yeah. bring a little picnic it's classic old greenfield and are they well attended yes they are oh very much so very much so it is it does have a multi-generational thing about it that's pretty right. nice yep it's very sweet it's very sweet. I mean, and the music is, you know, super John Philip Sousa. But, you know, people love it. People yeah. love it. It's um, yeah. They obviously don't have, uh, and I guess I shouldn't say obviously, but I'm guessing they don't have a contingency plan in case we're still not so with COVID. I can imagine they know how to get on Zoom. No, this right. they can't do it. If they can't no. do it, they're not doing it. Okay. Right. So I guess they would just be another, you know, group that this is the amount that we're uh, prepared to give. But if COVID has still got everything up in the air, mm -hmm. then you need to have a contingency we to can, go. I can't do that with them. They're a thousand years old. What I have to do okay. with them, Joanna, is going to be different. What I have to say to them is. We'll wait and give you your funding when you know you can do your show. And when you can do your show, we'll send you the check. It, it, I, I'm telling you, I've, I've, spent, uh, I've okay. spent hours with these folks. I, I trust you. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> what did you say was last year, Linda? 600? I felt like it was 600 last year, but I could be wrong. That's right. No, I, uh, I, that, I suggest doing that again. Okay. Yeah. Um, but I will tell you, if we have COVID when they're doing it, they, they, they just won't do it. And so they, no. need to, 
be wool. Okay. Great. Good. So, yeah, I'm going to make like a suggestion is just kind of how I think. When you're doing the notes, why don't you just use CC for COVID contingency? And that can be oh, your little note for yeah. itself. Yeah, just it's going to lay out a little nicer if you if you use that. Good. Um, I need to do that with these guys, but there, that's better. I have a longer note here. You know, what I do, though. some of them need longer notes because you have other things you want to say to them. I'll just do this. Won't let me do. Is it already? If I keep that one, a fat one, is that okay? Yeah. Okay, and alrighty, good. Greenfield Military Band. Here's the John Root, the second one. So we're just going to leave this alone because we've already dealt with him. Because right. I think it's exactly the same. Yeah. Okay. So bye bye, John. And Lindsay, what is this one? I can't remember. Oh, well, this one. Okay, Caribbean connection. This one seems like it has nothing to do with us at all. It was really confusing. It was really confusing to me too, babe. Um, where is it? Here it is. Okay, they're asking for a lot of money, and it sounds like what I got out of this, and tell me if you think I'm nuts, it sounds like we're giving them money so they can be on WGGB. What? I feel yeah. like we can give them zero. I agree. Okay. I think the stuff that is cool. Oh yeah, it's cool. It's just not our thing. You know yeah. what I mean? It, yeah. It's, it's paying money to a, a for-profit television station. I don't think so. Okay. All right. So I probably should have put red in that one. There it is. Um, okay. Bye bye. And time to. Oh, this is the sexual. Uh, uh, survivors one. This is a this is a good one. It's a Zoom project. And there you go. Tell me what you think of this one. Multi-local. They're going to be at a lot of different locations. Correct. I which is fine. I think that there's become probably in the arts generally, but certainly in the writing community, connecting um, uh, literary arts as a way to give people the tools to write about difficult experiences yep. is something that, you know, has been happening for a while and has been showing itself to be a really powerful Agreed. Way for people who have had an experience that is normally kept quiet. Yep. Um, to to give voice, you know, to give that kind of authentic voice to themselves. So I so think think I've done I a lot think, of work with voices from the inside, and it's yep. just magical what these folks come up with. Um, how they process their trauma to create something of beauty that is art. And, and what, what is impressive to me is that a lot of the people who come to these uh, are not practiced writers, but the program really teaches them how to be writers. Mm -hmm. um, so that what comes out the other side is something that not only is important in terms of their uh, dealing with their experience and articulating their experience, but as a piece of, of written art um, tends to be something that, you know, is is a pretty powerful. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, agree. Thank you for that, Joanna. So here we are. They're asking for 750. Um, I think that's a lot, uh, especially since they're going to be everywhere and they're going to have quite a few ways to make money right um because they're they're doing this in a lot of different locations so I, I think about reducing the number quite a bit but still give them something sub, sub, substantial and i don't know what that is but um yeah what it, but that's just my opinion 400 
I was or thinking four to five. Somewhere between 400 and 500 would be Well, let's fine. start with four, and we, we can do all kinds of adjusting after. Yeah. Um, yeah. Okay, great. Great. Good job, everyone. All right. We're hired. We're hired. <laughs> yeah. All right. And this is local access for the Lava Center. This is so cool. Do you guys know about the Compost Cooperative? Yes, a, a tiny little bit. Yeah, it's a very cool thing. Trenda Lofton uh, has worked really, really hard to figure out a way to create viable work and a live situation for formerly incarcerated folks. And it's working on housing them. And the funding source of is, is with time after she's got her initial thing set up is going to be um, through uh, composting. And what they do is they collect your compost and then they take it over to the what's the cool place Martin's farm and, uh, mm -hmm. and they add on to Martin's farm and Martin's farm sells it. Right. Um, but these guys are paid to move it from point A to point B and they are living together and she's buying a house. They're buying a house. Uh, in downtown Greenfield, and I'm imagining that she said it's right downtown. I'm imagining it's the old survival, uh, not survival center, the old um, uh, women's Nelquit, the old Nelquit. Uh, I'm imagining, I don't know that to be a fact, but uh, it's a really cool combination of skills and the way it serves humanity. Um, now, the mm -hmm. art is Jan uh, Maurer, who is brilliant and has just had been such a uh, an, an ad. Uh, 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 you know, a, a resource for Greenfield and she can do all kinds of shit and she's going to make She's it. She's been doing some really amazing programming. Amazing. You know, okay. like uh, there's things about the not knowing the specific person behind the, the project itself. I don't know what experience she brings to it, but Jan has got some really solid experience in terms of getting things to actually happen oh she'll make it'll happen and yeah. it'll be a beautiful thing and also it's the kind of thing that i've never heard of this uh as a as a way to put people to work and give them a sense of meaning um and uh, i feel like it could be if there's a documentary film made about it it could be replicated in other communities right. um so anyway i love this project yep. and they want 1200 Twelve hundred out of five thousand. Yeah, thank you so much. Yeah, I don't know what you guys want to give. Uh, I think that was actually sort of chintzy of me to put five hundred there. Um, well, I don't know what you guys want to do, but I do feel like this is a really important and beautiful project. Um, this is something working with a very underserved population. Absolutely. And given. Given what we've done in the past around, you know, recognizing this is doing something for a group of people that normally are just like, you know, completely erased. Mm -hmm. um, I, I would be okay, you know, I would put down 1200 and then see where we are at the end, because I would rather the, the, the project happen. Mm -hmm. than to necessarily is to happen and feel like we really the community supports this happening yep great let's do that oh actually sorry does everybody agree is everybody cool with that yeah yeah great, great. all right next is silverthorne theater and they are doing their reading series which is great Contingency already. Mm -hmm. I what they're asking for. They're asking for three hundred bucks. You know. Uh, yeah. I um, put two hundred because I don't think it's going to cost them anything to put it together to speak of. Okay. Um, but yep, sounds good. You want. That's good by me. Okay. Yep. Alrighty. Now. Doctor, the machine, Jesse Green. This is so interesting. <laughs> a fun, live, and extremely inspiring talk. But as I recall, he didn't line anything up. Let me just see if Cheeseburger Man 
Whoa, what do we make of this? I said. <laughs> Whoa. It doesn't seem like he's got it seems like he's got this really cool thing to do, but it doesn't does, really like Does he have a venue? Audience. Anybody? How about high school? Maybe elementary. Right? He yeah. hasn't made any connections with anybody. Zero. Is that Zero. correct? It looks like it to me. Can you guys get anything out there other than he's an awesome weird guy and has done absolutely no homework on figuring out how to present it here? Yeah, he's applying for councils everywhere from Boston to Pittsfield. Yeah. I, I, I mean, I'm so glad that he's awesome, but I just, I, I think we could really say that he's not, he doesn't have a venue. Yeah. Okay. Okay, good. And even if he says it's online, if he hasn't done any light work to connect oh, okay. up with with anybody. You know. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I agree with that one. All righty. Whoops. Okay. It decided to jump me out again. Sorry, y'all. Okay. Now where were we? Oh, what? All right. Well, cheeseburger man. Where's the cheeseburger? There's a cheeseburger. I think right, we're we River go. Stories. Yes, here we are. River Stories. Oh, I love these guys. This is the Nolambika Project. Oh, I love them too. Oh yeah. my gosh. They're the best. And, and this is another time in history where attention is really finally coming to the stuff That's that they've been working on for freaking Years. Oh, forever since I've lived here practically. Yes, um, they're asking for seven fifty. My inclination would be let's put that down and then okay. see where we are. Okay. That, How does that in a feel about that? In a yeah. similar kind of way for similar kinds of reasons as with um, the racial justice rising folks. Exactly. This is not the year to be saying to people who are really trying to work on that, oh, we're going to nickel and dime you. Yeah. yeah. Great. I love that. Uh, actually, do we have a chord? Do we have a chord with everybody on that? That's a, good, that's a place to start. Yeah. yeah. Okay, great. Next is, oh, these bastards. I even wrote to them saying, never write to me again. They don't. <laughs> They're from New York, and they just write to yeah. every freaking. They don't have a venue. They don't got nothing. Forget it. Right. They're it's a. And they've been festival. around forever. If they don't know how to find money from places with deeper pockets, <laughs> they're so over them. Okay. Over them. Right. Boom. All right. Now. This was oh this one. I have I have a note about this one as well that they aren't local. Yeah, they didn't do anything to figure out how to do it here. Uh, nope. Here they are. Uh, does it seem like they've made any connections with GTV? No, they have done nothing. I mean, um, get later in the evening. No. No. <laughs> no. Yeah, yeah, if they've got they no local they connections, don't have a venue because they they are really less not willing to talk it out. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I think what we would need to do um, is to just bring it down to no money to speak of. I mean, what is yeah. dollars or something? Yeah. Well, yeah. The thing about no venue is that they're talking about doing it virtually anyways. Yeah, see, that's the thing. I can't say no venue because we don't need a venue anymore. Um, but, but we do need a local connection of some kind. Right. But I will say, if they look on the town website and say what is required, and we say they yeah. don't have a venue, and they say we have Zoom, uh, we, I think we can't give them zero is all I'm saying. Right. They have to even do one right. Yeah. So some small well, amount. But, but then wouldn't that be true for chainsaws and cheeseburgers too? That he, he, would didn't all, say, he, he didn't even say he was going to, he didn't even have anything. Well, he says that it's school related. So he could say it's an online thing. All I have to do is reach out to the school and but set it. Made no connection. It, that, that one I can defend because he said he's a school program with no connection to the schools. So that's, a, I can, I can, I can defend mm -hmm. that one. But these like guys, if he, Yeah. If he was going to connect with schools, he should have done that already. Yeah. I can, I can definitely mm. justify a zero there because um, you have a school program, but you have no school, right? 
which is essentially no venue. Now these guys, it's just uh, you know, it's it's a it's a it's a um, it's a concert, but uh, and he says do it on television, but but what? I mean, there's no there's no connection with anybody. It's essentially well, you know what? I could try for zero if you want. I'm no, I'm not. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying they feel those two things feel the same to me. Uh huh. I think you the know? difference in my mind is one is saying that it's all about a school program. Uh -huh. The other one is just saying it's a concert. Right. If it's a school, yeah, but, program, what's the school? Well, he says he says that it's the high school. I think the he doesn't even say Greenfield High School. He just says the high school, the elementary school. <laughs> Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? But if you're going to do it with a, a particularly children's programming with a school, they're not going to just let any old buddy Absolutely. show up and yeah. say, oh yeah. my God, it takes I'm here to do a program for you. Yeah, and it takes right. a huge amount of homework. And right. it's unknown. Right. So anyway, I'm willing to risk the shrapnel there. Um, I think I would like to throw 25 bucks at the pianist just for shrapnel uh, uh, um, avoidance. Yeah. Sure. You're going to get far more yeah. shrapnel for 25 than zero. <laughs> oh, but they can't because we've given them a gift. We've given, we've given, we've granted them. So I'm legally, they have no, they have no recourse. The recourse is if they are denied. Right. If it's denied, okay. they can appeal and da, 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 and then we yep. need to, yep, we've been down that road. Okay. Yeah, okay. Oh, this is another one from Northampton. This is another one from Northampton, you guys. They, you know, this, I know that this is a well um, supported program from Northampton. Let me find Sarah Marcus. I think she was further up. And she's saying Tech it's reaches. online, so. Yeah, she, it's online. I mean, again, this is one where I feel, oh, here she is, way up there. Um, she's asking for a thousand dollars. I would give her very little and just uh, and explain that it really is, you know, we support her and are and are glad that she's doing the work. But it is, you know, it's it's Northampton centric. Yeah, I'm not sure why we're giving a lot of money to this or any. Money. I would say give her bucks. That give her, give her how much, John? Fifty. Fifty. We just wasn't I mean, this one about Sorry, two people are speaking at once. Can we just go one at a time? Thanks, John. Why don't you go first and then Hannah second? Oh, I, I I just think these are the kind of things that always sort of feel to me like people are like, oh, we're giving it online, so we can fly everywhere. Yeah, and exactly. I don't, Really want to fund that kind of stuff. So <laughs> go ahead, Anna. Can we, Linda? Can you open up her application because my memory of it is that this is online and it's a mentoring thing and it's open to anyone to. Yeah, here it is. Like Over apply. Depends. Yep, mentor artists will provide a professional outside eye and guide young artists to their fullest potential. How does, oh, our youth artist outreach is focused on middle and high school students from Greenfield, Northampton, Springfield, and South Hadley. If that's true, that their outreach is, is focused outreach, is like they're really connecting with Greenfield and going to try and get students into the program from Greenfield, that to me does not feel like a sort of scattershot, it's just Northampton the way some of the other ones did is the only thing I would say, but she might be saying yeah, that. Minutes. Here's how, um, here's how they're going to uh, uh, um, promote. And okay. let's see if there's anything specifically Greenfield there. So it's like, she says, we have connected with teachers at area schools who will serve as our liaisons. Are there Greenfield teachers in that? Yes, there are. There's five. Yeah. That's specific outreach to me. I mean, that's, that's not just trying to get money for Northampton the way that there was something else that was like just Northampton. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay, the great. Let's visit it then. What would you say then, Hannah? And let's uh, let's duke it out about what would be good. What do you think, honey? 
I mean, if they're really making a concerted effort to reach Greenfield students, then then it feels like a really worthwhile program of at least like, God, I don't know. I mean, I don't know. I don't know anything about this particular festival, but I would say like $500. I mean, we're, we've given money to other things tonight that were far less concrete than this. Good, fair, fair enough. If, if yeah, everybody I think that's a good like point. That. I think she's right. I think yeah. that I didn't see that and make that connection. Now that she has, I think it's true. Thank you, one, John. One of the think things- we'll throw 500 at it? Sure. One of the things that I think is in this year of COVID, as long as there's a serious effort to connect, like in a real way with Greenfield, yeah. that there are going to be uh, kids in this target group from Greenfield who are looking for mm -hmm. stuff. Mm -hmm. um, and because it'll be online, where they maybe would not, you know, there might have been a, oh, it's too hard to go down to Northampton. I can't imagine doing that. <laughs> um, doing it online might be opening up an opportunity that otherwise they would not have access to. Mm. Good. Mm. Now, we have a message from Kate who says she's here, but she cannot hear. Oh. I can hear now. Can you hear me? Yes. yes. Okay, great. Okay, good. Welcome, Kate. Um, We're so happy to have you, honey. Thank you. Um, you can't see me because I have I'm not on my laptop, but I yeah, can it's okay. That's all right. You. We believe you. We can recognize your voice anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. So um so I think we've settled upon five hundred as a, a potential uh a grant for um the youth performance. Very good. And let's see where we are next. Well, music of Franklin, these guys, yeah, these guys are regulars, as you know. Uh, well, let me set it up for people who don't know. Um, they're, they're a free after school program for um, subsidized housing. Where, where is it? Oh, Lydon Woods. Yeah. Woods. It seems to me they had two places. Yeah. Lydon Woods and Sheffield Elementary School in Turner's Falls. Yeah, they're great. These guys do God's work. Yeah. Do you remember what they did? We did last year, Linda. I think we were pretty close to uh, to to the what they asked for. Let me see if I can find them. Yeah, my memory is close. Not quite everything they asked for, but close. Yeah, like I think we, I think we uh, gave them a little more right. than half last time. I think they also asked for eight hundred, and I think we gave them five hundred. I think it was. I think it was pretty close. Was it five? Okay. I think we did. Maybe it was a little more. Um, anyway, um, I don't remember. Well, we, gave them, we gave them a good, I mean, a good grant, but um, but it wasn't what they asked for, as I recall. But we could come, maybe we could try to come closer to it. I don't know. Do you, what do you want to do, y'all? Why don't we put down six, and then yeah. you know when we when we actually look at the how the numbers are shaking out, we can. Okay. Great. Great. And okay. getting there, y'all. We're almost at 30. Winchenden, <clears throat> these are the other people. I hate them so much. <laughs> oh, they apply every year. All right. They don't uh. do it. Um, and what did they come up with Zoom or not? I don't think they even came up with Zoom. Where is it gonna be? Uh YouTube. Is it in this one? Oh yeah, Winchenden Historic. Oh, shut up! We're not even doing anything. I hate them. No more talking about Winchenden. No more talking. Okay, here we go. Next. Uh oh, here we go. This is the paint box. Oh, uh, this is really cute. I love this one. I do too. This yeah. is really cute. Um, now let me see what she asked for. Is there anybody <laughs> who doesn't know about this? Is painting uh, all the downtown boxes and. Uh, all the great meters and electrical boxes. Yeah, this is a good one. This is yeah. a good one. Yeah, I love this one. Yeah, this is definitely one of the ones that's a good investment for Greenfield. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So I, I had just thrown in 800, but I'll do anything you want to do, y'all. That's Sounds good. Is that good? Yeah. That's what I'm hearing from everybody? Yeah. Yep. Okay. All right, awesome. And oh, Michi Wiyanko. 
who is one of the most important musicians, you know, this side of Boston, who happens to live in Gill and who does these incredible things all throughout. Uh, she's so important and so cool, and she still um, does, didn't say specifically what her locations are, but I know she will do the work because I've seen it and I've been to uh, her concert. She goes to places like the Brick House and Turner's and the Senior Center in uh, Greenfield. And, you know, she wrote a shit, um, she wrote a shit application, but um, it's, she's really important, you guys. I don't know. I, I acquiesce to your- uh, how, how much has she asked for? Hardly anything. I think it was like $200 or- It's $200. Yeah. yeah. If it's it $200, it's not worth saying you did a shit, shitty job. <laughs> if she were, if, if, if she were one of the people saying, I want a thousand dollars, my inclination would be uh, to ding her for, for doing a lousy job. But for $200, given what she does. Oh, she is so important. You know, she just had her own first opera that she wrote done in Los Angeles at that big uh, theater. Wow. Oh, yeah. yeah. She's huge. Then wow. we, I don't even think we need it. I okay. mean, 200 is. Okay. That's right. Yeah, that's fine. We're we're at consensus about that. Okay, good deal. All yeah, right. We are cruising muffins. We are cru Oh, Pioneer Valley Symphony. This is an important one. Yeah. Um this is yeah, yeah this is their concert. Okay. Yeah. PBS. Wait, where are they? Am I not seeing it, y'all? Uh I think you I uh, scroll down. Did you Oh, here yeah. we go. Sorry, yeah, okay. my eyes are getting uh, a bit bad. I'm sorry, you guys. Okay, here we go. So they're asking for fifteen hundred. I threw a thousand at it, but you may want to try yeah. the whole thing. Whatever you want to do. I guess my same question. I apparently can't remember exactly what we gave anybody last year. So yeah, we gave them. Well, I'm not going to be able to come up with a number, but we gave them almost what they asked for last year. Why don't we have this be another one of the ones that we'll put in a thousand or whatever feels right yeah. or, or put in the whole amount and then we can go back and yeah. look at where we are in terms of, are we, you know, have, do we have to cut some of the awards because Very good. Jesus. Yeah. Very good. All right. You know what? I can even do a preliminary, even though we have quite a few more. We are only at 13000 We would only have to knock off a couple thousand dollars. So we're doing pretty well, y'all. Pretty okay. well. You have at 13000 What? What is the that's limit? Including, that's including my thoughts on the last oh. 10 applications. But, Got it. But I'm excited to see that we are not way out of control at all. We that's very positive. We so, need to be at 10? Uh, probably 11. I think we could do 11. 11. Yeah. Okay. All righty. Uh, That's good. Let's What's keep that? going. We're doing pretty well, y'all. Okay. Next is, oh, Elizabeth Pangburn from, um, yeah, I know her work. So she's doing sh snapshot of a shape shifter online. This project is for fifth and sixth graders, and this book is anti-racist. Is yep. required reading. Yeah. Oh, I didn't get that. Yeah. Uh -huh. It sounds really cool. It's it, really good. And it kind of fits into Alice. some of the stuff that we've been already flagging as this is an important year to oh, really be yeah. doing what we can. Yep, I agree. Yeah. And is it this one? No, this one. Okay. So she's asking for um she's asking for six. Four? Four? That sounds good. Four sounds good. Okay, great. And we'll see where we end up. Um, Edward, I love this guy. I He's chewed my ear off also. So I, I have to recuse myself from this one. Okay. Okay. Bud, okay. Um, anyway, he, um, he does uh, stuff at Energy Park, and this is an Energy Park uh, concert. It's a very... A uh, similar vibration, though a very different kind of music from the military band. It's a real family thing. People, you know, big families show up. Um, 
So it's well attended. It's totally well the attended. Ages. Yep. Yep. And similar to the band, we we seem to be their sole support. I think that's true. I really do. I, I don't think. How much are they asking? Five ninety. Where is he? There it is, right there. You just yeah, got him, got him. Um, yeah. So uh, yeah, I know he. Um, I think he's pretty dependent on the Mass Cultural Council. I don't think he has a lot of other uh, opportunities. And you know, a concert uh, that pleases the the public in uh, Energy Park is, of course, a good thing. How about four hundred? Okay. Cool with that, y'all. Yep. Okay. And. Yep. Doing good. We're doing good. Wait, what is this one from Cambridge? Oh yeah, this is no. This is this is it's ha it's happening in Conway and Ashfield in their parks. He didn't read any of the things, so never mind. So he's out the door. Okay, boom. Okay. Uh oh, this is kind of interesting. This one, race, cultural diversity, and justice speakers. So here you go. Ch take a peek at this. Oh, right. This is the one. Is it the, the, uh, the, is it being done through the synagogue? I don't know if it's uh, done through the synagogue, but it's a Jewish uh, based piece about right. anti racism and anti Semitism. And yeah. on, this on was one another and, one that I thought fit under that. This is, this is a timely, important. Yep. I agree. Okay. I'm going to recuse on this because um, Fair enough. we're incubating it. It's not officially connected to the synagogue, but about half the members are of right. this group are members of the temple. So I'm, I'm going to not vote on this okay, one. Okay. Very good. Andrew, uh, can I ask you then my only note on this one was that there, it didn't appear that there were any speakers who were nailed down yet. Do you know if if inquiries have gone out for speakers, or is there an idea of who the speakers I might be? Not. Are they local? They, Actually, this would be a thing that um, I know you're recusing yourself from voting, um, Andrea, but do you have any response to that question? I do not, um, because they're, they're incubating right now. I know the kinds of stuff that they're interested in, but I think they have in mind um, who did they mention? Is it Rhonda, a Native American? Rhonda Anderson. Some some programming in schools. So Rhonda Anderson, yeah. Yeah, but I don't, I don't know if they've articulated that yet. I don't attend their meetings, so I don't know. Okay. okay. They're only asking for five hundred dollars. True. Right. Mm -hmm. My. There was when I read through it, there was nothing to me that really stuck up as a red flag. Uh -huh. And at the same time, this is something we need to be talking about in a deep way. Absolutely. So yeah. and I get my, the sense from how, how well it was written that this is gonna happen. We I don't think yeah. we have to worry about yeah. it happening. It, or not. It's gonna happen and it's not gonna be like some half baked like right. yeah. You need to go home and think about this a little more. Mm -hmm. um, so I would say start me. I would say start with five hundred and see where we are. I'm happy with that. Is everybody good with that? Sure. Yeah. Good. All right. Okay. Yep. And oh, I think this is one that is not the residencies thing. Is not a thing. Whoa. I thought this one was cool, but it's very COVID contingent. Yep. Let me see. Incorporation. Da, da, da. Oh, that's this one. Oh, yeah. It's very COVID contingent, but it's um, it's also at 10 forward, which, God, we would love to try and support them in some kind of way. It's been yeah. some addition to the community. And they're shut right. and beat up and oh, and they're also working with Looky here. I mean, these yep. are two real treasures in our wacky little town um, that I would love for us to be able to support. But the contingency uh, thing for sure. Uh, so, what do they say their contingency is? Uh, well, so the oh, sorry. No, go ahead. Uh, go ahead. Um, 
So the first part of it, while 10 Forward is closed for events, they said that they were going to have invite composers to come in and use the instruments and put it online, which I thought was very cool. But then they say um, after 10 Forward reopens, which is a hopeful statement, right. that the right. instruments would go to Looky here where there could be big music sessions and workshops and events. So it's like the first right. part is doable. The second part is yeah. Depends. yeah depends on what yeah yeah here's what but they say about awesome. here's what they say about um what they would do if they don't get enough money wait I'm personal contributions um or reducing stipends or length of residency Right. They really, How much are they asking for? Um, Four thousand, I think. A lot Ooh. of money. Yeah, that was the thing that was crazy. They, but they don't know how we work. You know, they don't. They don't know how small we are yet. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a seven thousand dollar project, and they're asking them for four thousand. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's so neat. No, it is cool. I had thought five hundred dollars, um, but you know, whatever you all think, we could try for a thousand and then nip it back after that. I would be okay with putting thousand a thousand in as a as a start of, you know, as we're firming up the numbers, okay. knowing that if we need to, we'll back off from that. Okay, John. All righty. 37. Oh, exploded view. This is the um, thing that I was talking to you about. This is online. And um, this is an art, pro uh, like a physical art project. Um, they're, they're creating masks, they're creating an installation uh, and, and uh, utilizing archetypal imagery. Um, it's cool. It's really fun uh, and really interesting. And they're going to, but it's going to be an online piece and they will do all their homework um, because they, uh, they know what they're doing. Will you guys still have a quorum if I leave? You know what? It doesn't matter anymore because you don't have to vote. Okay. We're uh, okay. It was something that started at seven and I told them I would come in half an hour late. So. Okay. All right, sweetie. Thank all you right, so thank much you. for I, all I, your I input and we're almost be... done. Yeah. Be pretty compatible now in terms of our range and everything. Anyways, thank you. Doing great. Nice to be with you. Thank you so much for your help and your service. My thank pleasure. you. Okay. Yeah. So I don't know how you feel about this one, but they they really interesting. They're probably the only sort of uh, live action uh, physical human installation folks that we have around. The, the, their level of cutting edge work is really interesting. Right. How much are they asking? Think everybody for? knows them anyway. Everybody knows them. Um, let's see. Uh, 400 bucks. 400. Uh, say again. I so, said off. Uh, <laughs> hear you again, Joanna. Can you say it again? <laughs> can you hear me now i can hear you sorry i've got all kinds of weird uh background noise uh, with you but go ahead i said uh i just like the noise means, like, i think like that means give them 400 like okay 400 that should be fine okay great all right got it got it sorry there's some really weird audio stuff going on here Oh, we're almost there. We're at 38. Real Life Theater, this is really wonderful stuff, too. Um, Real Life Theater is run by Trenda Lofton, uh, among others, and she lives in Greenfield. And this is a pretty cool audio play. There you go. And the thing is, this is our first Wicked Queer project. Yeah. We need some of that. Well, mm -hmm. that, the, the, the point about um, uh, that this may be the, the, 
one of the few opportunities or maybe even the first opportunity for people, uh, let's see, people who are queer and. And of color as well. And of color to hear themselves in the sci-fi yep. frame, which I think is a, a good So point. cool, so cool. Yep. All right. You had suggested five out of five hundred out of the thousand. I think. What did I do? If you guys are seeing it, sorry, my head is starting to yeah. um get yeah. insane here. Yeah. Can you uh, see? Why don't, why don't we leave that for now? That seems okay. Yeah. You've, okay. you've got five five hundred as a as a marker. Right. Oh, there it is, right there. Okay. Uh, does that seem acceptable? Yeah. Okay. Great. Sure. All right. Excellent. Three more. Oh, Julie Stepanek. She's a great person. And the, she's the ukulele girl. Yeah. And um, she's saying, so this is interesting. She's saying outside the library. So she's thinking COVID right there. Yeah. Mm. And here you go. Take a peek at that. And she, you know how it goes, she brings her ukuleles and and and, and I guess she's thinking she'll clean them up. I think she says yeah. something. She, she yeah. said something right. in the application yeah. about how she's gonna yep. make sure that they're okay between uses. So and let's see what she asked for. Yeah, it's pretty straightforward. She's not asking for very much. Um, I had a marker of 200, but I'll do whatever yeah. you guys think. Oh, no, that's okay. 200. Okay. 200 sounds good. Okay, good. And Great. And PD Theater, this is Jonathan. This is the Dino uh, Project. Yep, yep. Um, yep. Again, very sweet. And I don't think he's asking for very much money. Where is he? He was higher up. I think. Here we go. Thank you for remembering, John. There it is. Uh, yeah, sorry, I put 250 in, but I'll do whatever you like. Fine. I thought that was good. Okay. Um, that to me is a little like back to the branding thing, Hannah, and downtown. Yeah. And, yeah. yeah. I yep. think that's yeah. good. That's yeah. good. I, I, oh my gosh. I, We're on the last I, one. I love yes. that. Um, this is, oh, I forget what Elizabeth is. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. This is, this is interesting. What did you think of this one, you guys? A little outdoor performance in downtown Greenfield. You know, we, you know where this comes from? I remember this. I was in a, uh, um, a convening of the Bar Foundation, and this was Elizabeth's idea for the Bar Foundation, and it didn't take off there. She was going to do it, I think, in Northampton or East Hampton, but um, she's decided she wants to give it a shot in Greenfield, and it's uh, kind of cool. It's like a party. Right. And it sounds like she's, I think she's it was really cool. Yeah, some okay. interesting play on on uh, creating kind of a narrative of the piece that that starts out one way and then bends it. Yeah, which yeah. I thought was really cool. And I know her work. Uh, again, this is a piece that will be good and it will be done. It will it will happen. Mm -hmm. How much does she want? I can't. I like it. A thousand. A thousand. She wants a thousand. Yeah, that was a lot. Yeah. yeah. That might be a little high. That's too much. That was right yeah. near the bottom, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. There you go. Thanks, John. You're suggesting 400. We can do that. Whoops. I, I did the wrong one. Um, so if we say 400, what are we at total wise? Okay, here we go. 14,275. And that's leaving out. Um, I think that's leaving out Sam. Which one is Sam? Sam Wood. Oh no, we had put two hundred. Oh, oh, oh. What did we leave right, yeah. out? Oh, this was it was leave to the end. The visiting author program. Right. Uh, We've done nothing for that. Everything else has been handled. All right. So the uh, ones that we um kept close to what they were asking and said we were going to come back and revisit. Mm -hmm. Can yep. we knock some of those down? Absolutely. Here we go. Hip hop. We're good. Authors honoring nature. Uh, just a little token for Sam. Um, that's the big one. 
Okay, B Fest is at the same price that they asked for, but we want to do that. Military is um, six hundred. Crop circles. Oh, you know what? We just we did not make a decision about what to do with John Root. Uh, um, he's doing a PowerPoint, right? Yeah, just a hundred maybe. Yep. Yeah. Okay. And plant communities is only there. We're full full price on the um, totem art totem. We are two hundred on neurobiology. Oh, whoa, here we go. No, John Root is twice. That's why. Okay, there's John Root again. John Root is twice. I remember saying yeah. Got it, got it. 1425 and we need to be at 11. Yeah, I yeah. think we do. Yeah, 14275 right there, John. Okay, 11,000 divided by 14275. So at that point, we, we can go through and, and look at individual ones. And we can do the ones that we set aside. And then what I would suggest is we do those, figure out how far we are over after that, and maybe just apply that percent to everybody. Oh, great. I think that makes sense. That's I wonderful. like that idea. That's so, wonderful. All right. So then let's make the decision. Had, I don't remember what they are. Yeah, no, we're good. As a matter of fact, it's the $5,000 one is a big one. Where is yeah. it now? YA. Oh God! I would God. say take a look at all of you know any of the big ones. Yeah. Okay, so here's a big one: the fairgrounds. Do you want to give them? How about nine? Okay, nine hundred. Eight or nine? Yeah. Okay, yeah. here we go. And another big one is, uh, oh, the compost. Co oh yeah, we could nip that by a couple hundred bucks. Thousand. So yep. Yep. Good job, everybody. Um. Nolambika, that's not a very big one. Oh, okay, here we go. Pioneer Valley Symphony. I think we could give them a thousand and it would still be fine. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, good. Okay. Um, this is the looky here thing. That's a big one. Um, we could make that 800 maybe. Yeah. Okay. Okay, and that's still substantial. And then, all right, let's see what that does. Could us, we've knocked off a thousand. That's good. We still need to knock off how much? Um, uh, at least. Yeah. And we haven't done the five thousand dollar visiting. No, we haven't yet. So we better go up and do that. All right, here we go. Visiting author. Oh. So if you give them a thousand, you're right back at fourteen two seventy five. And then if you cut everyone by 23%, you would come in at $11,000. That's great. Um, so what I would yeah. do about that, because I'm not smart enough to do this um, one by one by right. one. I don't know how, and I don't know how to do it on a spreadsheet, but I will go. Yeah, go ahead. Before we do this, because I think. I don't feel like we've done our due diligence to take the numbers down. And if we do a percentage okay. now, we're going to knock a lot of people into like really low numbers. And I just want to make sure right. that we're ready to do that. Okay. Do I, I'm kind of agreeing because there's some of the okay. ones that are small numbers, but important projects. Okay. Yeah. All right. So we can okay. go one by one. I'm so happy to do that. So That's what fine. I just, I will name them and then I'll make the adjustments that you say. Here we are at hip hop dance. A hundred. Hundred. Yeah. Whoops. Come here, buddy. One hundred. Got it. Here we are. Authors honoring honoring nature. Uh, yep. Yeah, one hundred twenty-five. Sounds good. Got it. All right. Okay. Samantha Wood Farm. I don't feel right giving her more than the authors and artists who have an established thing. That okay, feels about a hundred bucks. Mm -hmm. bucks. Okay. And, uh, visiting author program. We've just done that a thousand. B festival. Do you want to knock that down at all? 400. No. 400. No, I don't either, but. All right. Uh, all right. Well, yeah. um, uh, military band. <laughs> okay, here we go. 500 and 
plant communities. Yeah. I mean. Yeah. Okay. Bottom, we just knocked a hundred bucks off. We did, Should yeah. We? Okay. Now finding your happy place, 150. 150. Okay. And this is Joan Root. We've already knocked him down to just a hundred bucks. So there's yeah. that. <laughs> We have our racial really? justice folks, and we've wanted to keep them high, but we could do just something like 350 and make it really close. Yes. Okay. okay. Um, the OR dance uh, company performance, uh, we could do 150 there. Yeah. I think we could do 200. Okay, 200. Thank you. It's the only thing about multi abled anything. You're absolutely oh, true. Yep. Yeah. That's All right, cool. jazz concert online at NCA. Oh yeah, this is the one. Let's just bring this down to fifty. Okay. okay. Hilltown. Oh, you know what? We can bring it down. Hilltown. They'll be okay. Let's do one hundred. Oh, two hundred. Okay. Two hundred. Two hundred. Yeah. Okay. Good. Good. Yeah. Uh, Sarah Marcus. We could bring her down a little bit. Four hundred, maybe. Sure. Yeah. Okay. And we're really close to the asking on uh, the the compost co 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 cooperative, so we should okay, not. So nine nine hundred. Nine hundred. Okay, good. Boom and music of Franklin. Uh, I hate to knock them down anymore. Oh, no. Let's let's wait. Wait. All right. And Jonathan Mirren is very good at getting money. I feel like we could get him to 200 and he's still going to do it. 200, okay. Yep. Mm -hmm. And Survivor's Workshop, should we bring it down to 300? Let's leave that for now. Okay, very good. 400. Good job. Uh, theater, uh, Thursday series, it's a stage reading. We could do the 150 there, I think. Yeah. Okay. 150, not in Greenfield. Yeah, and you know, the, the racial diversity justice speakers. I mean, we could do like something like 450 and bring it down a tiny bit. I think that one, and honestly, the other one, I think we should leave at the full. Very good. Okay, good. Yeah, yeah. And um, not stories. Yep. Um, so, Nolan Bika, uh, we are giving them exactly 700. Okay, great. 700. Okay. Uh, 25, they already have nothing. Paint box. 750 for paint box. Yeah, let's do that. See where we are. Uh, Antenna Cloud, she's a genius. We're going to keep that there. Although we can do 150. That's still okay. Um, this do one, we, PBS. Oh, sorry, Hannah. Do we have to? <laughs> like, I, I, I no. feel like 200 is, is... Okay, here we go. Well, yeah. let's look. Let's look. Let's, yeah. Let's look. Yeah. Well, it works. We're at thirteen two fifty. Oh, uh, <laughs> oh no, yeah. it's rough, and we've already knocked PBS down. Yeah. Um, the residencies at Looky here, we've knocked down. Maybe, maybe yeah. three hundred. Oh, sorry for. Okay, I'm jumping ahead. Sorry. Go ahead. Yeah. Um. So we had eight hundred. Maybe I don't know six hundred. Sure. For the the residencies. Yes. Is that good or bad, y'all? Sure. Okay. Sounds fine. And yeah. now the play. Yeah, we could bring this one down to like 300. 300. Maybe. Good. Yeah. And let's well, see, Energy Park. Nah, leave that one for now. All right, we're leaving it. Um, we could 350. Come, yep. Here we go. 350. 200. 300. Good. 300. Okay. Okay, got it. Um, <laughs> 400. <laughs> the, the audio play 400. Okay, good. Okay. And ukulele, 150. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I walk in okay. two parts there. Uh, the parade, 350. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, and that's yeah. everything. And what's and our total? We at now? We're at 12. 1250. You know what? Can I tell you something, you guys? I think we could leave that because I think we're going to have a little bit of money in the bank from shit that did not happen in 2020. Okay. Mm -hmm. And I will look into that before our meeting. Well, of course, I'll find out exactly how much money we have before our meeting on the whatever day we decided the 21st, I think it was. Um, okay. I think we've done enough work tonight to be in really good shape if everyone feels good about it. I have one more. Yeah, I have one more yeah go ahead, Hannah. Can we go back up to the other, um, I can't remember the name of it, the other race-related. Yep, race, um, diversity, justice speaker, this one. Oops. No, the other, other one. one. Oh, the, um, yeah, 
uh, racial justice rising. Racial justice rising. Did yeah, I yeah. Pass it? Community outreach. Wait, wait. Go back. Oh, oh, here we go. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Um, I think we should leave that at four hundred. I think three fifty okay. is just an unnecessary comment. Okay. That we don't want to make. Okay. Yeah. I think we have done the work that is required of us tonight, friends, and I'm really proud of us. We are so good. What a good team we are. Thank you so much. This is I love funny. you, every one of you. <laughs> and so, uh, We're hired. So wrapping it up now. You did a great <laughs> job. We have dispersed. Um, I, I think we've dispersed darn close to what we need. And I can I know that we can get to exactly the number, which will probably be about 12,000 um, if we have the, the money that I think we have left over. And, so and what, what, what do we have now? What um, is the total have, now? We have 12,700 bucks. And we might have that money. It's really possible. But we we might have that money, or we might need to knock it down like seven hundred. Exactly, just a tiny little yeah. bit. All so right. um, yeah. I feel like any more time to spend on this could easily be wasted because yeah. we don't know what we're working with. Yeah. So yeah. may I say thank you from the bottom of my heart uh, <laughs> for all of your hard work, and go have a drink or uh, a nice cup of tea. Yeah. <laughs> Plan. Excellent. All right. Thanks, everybody. Thank Bye. you. Bye. Bye. Good job. Thank you. You did great. Good night. Good night. Good night. Thank you. Good night. Good night.